everybody and welcome to Akshata's recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is really a delight and it's something which is very simple to make. So uh, it's a super simple recipe like I said and uh, the end result is simply delicious. So let's just dive straight into today's recipe and in today's video. So let's see today's recipe. Now here I'm using about 200 grams or 1 cup and 1 fourth cup of Goa Jogri which I've just grated using a sharp knife. You can also use a grater. Now this is exactly 125 grams or 3 fourth of a cup of rice flour that I've just put some water in and made a thick paste. Now this is 200 ml or just 1 cup of thick coconut milk. So we just have 3 ingredients to make this dodol. It's super simple and it's really very very easy. So let's start friends. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour about 3 fourth of the uh, coconut milk into the jogri bowl and uh, either using a spoon you can just mix up everything but I found using my fingers were a much better option because I could actually crush the that created jogri very well and I could also feel the texture you know as to okay now the jogri is completely dissolved now a very important step and please don't skip this step if you want to have a very smooth dodol dessert just take a sieve or a sift and just run this mixture through that this is very important friends so please don't skip this sifting uh, step and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the remaining coconut milk to this mixture and I'm going to give it a stir. Look at the lovely color of this uh, mixture. And you know as you keep cooking it, it darkens and it becomes into a beautiful color. Now I'm just going to add a pinch of salt and again give it a good mix. Uh, like I said, if you're not able to get your hands on Goa Jogri here in Mumbai, the closest thing would be using to use palm sugar, which is available in most superstores or supermarkets. Uh, now I've just taken a mold because uh, the normal shape of a dodol is like, you know, a loaf. So this is my normal loaf tin that I use. And I'm just going to grease it very well with some clarified butter. You can use regular butter too. But this is also a very important step. Don't skip this step because that way when you're demolding the dessert, it comes out really super easily. So using your fingers or a brush, just uh, grease the mold very well. Now I'm just heating a pan on a low to medium flame. And to this, I'm going to add my jogri and coconut milk mixture. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to add the rice flour just whisk it in well because sometimes the rice flour does tend to settle down at the bottom so before adding it just ensure that all of the rice, rice flour has dissolved if it hasn't just add a little more water and add it in and now friends all we have to do is continuously stir on a low to medium flame also scrape down the sides now here I was using a spatula but after some time when the liquid started spluttering all over the place <coughs> I thought I found that a wooden spoon with a long handle uh, is you know a much better option because it doesn't get heated up so uh, just keep stirring if you have a wooden ladle or a wooden spoon with a long handle then use that so now basically we just have to keep stirring this mixture till it thickens. Now I did put a timer on my uh, phone so I wanted to see how much time it actually took you know for the entire process and it took me exactly 20 minutes. So you can take the help of your family members and friends to help you in stirring. Or just listen, like I gave you a tip before in one of my Christmas recipes, just listen to your favorite podcast or put on some music or just chit chat with your friends and family. That makes the time really pass very, very fast. So like you see, I've switched to this long, uh, I mean to the wooden spoon with a long handle because that way it doesn't splutter and the spoon doesn't get heated up either. 
So this is such a super simple recipe, just three ingredients, but the end result is so, so delicious. Uh, now, uh, at this stage, when your mixture starts to thicken, you can add a few pieces of cashew nuts, which you can chop up a bit. Uh, I somehow like the simple, plain, smooth dodol rather with rather than having anything inside. I mean, in it, but uh, you can add a few pieces of cashew nuts. So now at this point, uh, you know, when your mixture starts thickening, uh, you can do a water test. That is just take about one fourth of a teaspoon of this mixture. Just put it into a cup of, uh, you know, room temperature water. And if it forms into a smooth ball, then you know your mixture is done. Or when your mixture just starts leaving the sides of the vessel very easily and starts thickening up, you know, you know that your uh, mixture is ready. So now you can see the beautiful color, you know, after cooking it, it has really darkened to a lovely dark chocolate color. So to make your work easier, you can put a timer so you know, okay, when it's like 15, 20 minutes, you know your mixture is going to get there. And now once it's ready, all you have to do is just pour it into the greased mold. You can use a glass one like I have or the other tin ones that are available in the market. You can use a regular bread loaf tin too. And now just using the back of a spoon, just smooth it out a bit. And then the most important part is that you have to refrigerate it for four to five hours. You have to be patient for this dessert to completely set. And now after waiting for five hours, very, very patiently, we're going to demold this lovely Goan dessert. Now just run a sharp knife through the edges. That makes it, you know, come out really, really easily. Like you will see. Now using a plate, just put the plate on top of your mold in this way. And then just turn the whole thing over and you'll see how easily it just slides over. Because first of all, you've greased your a tin and secondly you've used a sharp knife to just loosen the edges and there it is friends a very traditional and authentic go and dessert so simple yet so so delicious so now all you have to do is just take a sharp knife and cut it up into thin or thick slices as per your choice and serve it to your family and friends it's a lovely tea time snack you can make it for any uh, you know festivities like even for Christmas or any other special occasion. So today we're going to make this lovely chewy milk toffee and it has only four ingredients. everyone and welcome to Akshata's recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by. See loads and loads of Christmas recipes coming up on my channel. Most of my recipes are from handed down to me by my mom in her uh, Christmas recipe book. Let's get started with today's recipe. So in a pan I'm going to be melting 100 grams or half a cup of butter 
Once our butter melts, we're going to add 400 ml or one entire tin of condensed milk. We're going to mix all of this till the mixture begins to thicken, stirring continuously on a low to medium flame. Now, once our mixture thickens, we're going to add about 150 grams or one cup of cashew nut powder. Then we're going to add the raisins. That's about one fourth of a cup or 40 grams. That is completely optional, but it does give a lovely taste to this toffee. Now we're going to continuously stir this till everything comes together and thickens. Now to see, uh, to see if our mixture is ready, we're going to take just about one fourth of a teaspoon in some water and if we are able to form a very smooth, a nice ball with this mixture, that means our mixture is ready. So now we're going to transfer this to a greased tray. I've just greased it with some clarified butter or ghee. You can also use regular butter. If you don't have a tray like this, you can just take any plate, preferably a steel plate, just grease it with some butter or ghee and just apply this uh, paste and just even it out. Now we have to let this sit for at least two hours and then we're just going to loosen the sides, we're going to demold it and then we're going to just cut it up into squares or any design of your choice. And our lovely milk toffee is all ready to serve. This is such an easy recipe and it gets ready also pretty fast. I think within 10 minutes, your mixture thickens and then you can just let it set for about an hour or two. And then all you have to do is just cut it up and it is really, really delicious. So this is going to really look so beautiful on your Christmas tree and everyone's going to definitely ask you for this recipe. You can also store this in an airtight container for about a week or two. It has a long shelf life and you can see it looks delicious, it is delicious and when you just tear it apart it's so nice and gooey and chewy. So I hope you try out this recipe and uh, keep uh, make this for your Christmas this year and I hope you liked today's recipe. If you did then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up, don't forget to share all my recipes, especially my Christmas recipes with family and friends. So friends, for our cocoa milk fudge, we're going to use these following ingredients. Here I have 200 ml of condensed milk, 200 grams of regular white sugar, 100 grams of cocoa powder, 100 grams of butter at room temperature, a teaspoon of vanilla essence, 200 ml of milk and some chopped walnuts and a pinch of salt will be required. Here I have lined up a cake tin which is 7 inches by 7 inches with some butter or parchment paper. Now here I'm taking a pan which is non-stick and I'm going to be first adding my condensed milk. The flame is on a low. Now to this condensed milk, I'm going to be adding the sugar, give it a mix. Now we're going to be adding in the butter and we're going to mix this till the butter starts to melt. Now 
once our butter melts completely, we are going to add in our cocoa powder. And again, we're going to mix everything thoroughly. And now we're just going to add some milk, add the milk to the mixture. And again, we're going to stir everything. And now we're just going to add the vanilla essence. And we're also going to put in a pinch of salt. And now we just have to keep stirring till our mixture starts to thicken. This will take about 15 to 20 minutes till it all comes together. Now once our fudge is all come together, we're just going to turn off the gas stop and empty all of it into our lined cake tin. And then we just have to put it into the refrigerator to set for about 4 to 5 hours. And then we're going to cut it up into cubes or I'm going to show you another way in which you can make your Christmas tray look really fancy. So keep watching. One way is that we just cut up the fudge into cubes like this so that's one of our options or you can just put them into a chocolate mold 
this is the normal fudge which we have cut up into squares and the other design that I came up is we just make little little small balls and put them into your marzipan mold your milk cream mold your chocolate mold so they become really small little bite size and they look also so pretty